We're going with haunted house movies for this movie draft. Uh, we kind of talked about it earlier. I think things like Ghost Ship are going to count, where it's sort of just an area where people might live is haunted. Now, Icky got to go first. So Frank will get to go first on this one. Then Icky will go second. And then I will go third. So on that note, Frank, what is your first haunted house movie for your triple feature? We're going to... I'm going to go with uh, the coach because he had a, a great, funny movie, uh, Poltergeist. There you go. <laughs> Craig T. Nelson. I remember uh, watching. Where they go into the, the very slimy cheesecake and then pop out of it covered in slime cheesecake. <laughs> Is that where Slimy Cheesecake got their name in the YouTube chat? Um, Probably. I remember it wasn't it wasn't Poltergeist the first one. It was like the second or third. They're in like an, an apartment hallway, <laughs> and there's like yeah, it's mirrors. Like New York, right? Oh, and there's remember there's this one. It just scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. Anyway, Icky, mm. what's your first one? I don't even know there's more than one Poltergeist movie. Oh, uh, there's a yeah. lot. Uh, it's um, like, dude, like any horror it. franchise. There's like a dozen of them. Now I, Some I they will, just don't let die. Yeah. I'll repeat that I am not a horror movie person, so I might get a little off the rails here, but I'm starting off with one I really truly love, which is also another Michael J. Fox movie, Frighteners. Oh! Yeah. Good pick. Great Hold movie. On, i got to boost your mic a little. Yeah, see, this is one I, was, I was, wasn't quite sure about, but I am absolutely willing to put it in there. If you have not seen The Frighteners... It's a definitely go check it out, dude, because it's got a good combination of it's it's scary and creepy, it's Peter dark, Jackson. and it's funny. All right, Peter Jackson, the Lord of the yeah, Rings it's a guy. Peter Jackson movie. It's also just smart. It's a, it's a very clever movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and as you can see, the music was done by Danny Elfman. All right, I get to go back to back here, which means I really got to think about this. But if we're talking about haunted houses or haunted buildings there is one that you absolutely have to go with that for some reason i'm now not seeing oh here we go there it is shining shining gotta Don't start with stephen king yeah he, stephen king apparently hates it uh all right so that's my first pick my second pick i kind of know what i want to go with here and so i'm going to go a little bit off the rails a little bit but this is one that I've noticed that people have started to give it a little bit more credit through the years. It's 13 Ghosts. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the original? I've seen bits and pieces. I haven't seen the whole thing through. For a 1960s flick, it's pretty decent. Pretty good. <clears throat> pretty, 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 pretty good. Pretty All right, pick a bud. Your, uh, next, your second choice. Uh, let's see here. I will go for... Um, let's do Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice for my second pick. Solid, solid pick. Most definitely a haunted house movie. It actually stays in the house pretty much the entire time, except for when they go off into the Sandland. That's true. Sandland. All right, Frank, you get to go back to back here, my man. Um, I want to save the funny one for this. Um, <laughs> let's go back to back. Have you got have you heard of uh, the Winchester? Nope. With okay, do you not have that poster? No. Nope. Did I win? Yeah, I win. There's no way I was gonna get every single haunted house uh, movie poster, and you always pick weird shit. So with yeah. Helen, the Mirren. Winchester about the Winchester house. Yeah, it's like Helen Mirren. It takes place in like the late 1800s, maybe early 1900s, and she runs like this. It's an old boarding house, and basically it's like haunted, and she brings people in to try to exercise the ghost but then you find out the reason why there's ghosts there is because she's keeping them there and it that's like the whole i don't want spoilers that's the whole twist of the movie is like she killed the people in there it's pretty it's pretty decent flick like it's it's a it takes a little long but it's a it's a good one it's a good one but he doesn't have the movie poster that's a win good for you all right next uh i'm gonna, I'm gonna go with casper Ah! Oh. <laughs> Number Dang two, it. you didn't have that I one either. I didn't even do that one. I, I didn't win. figure anybody would I fucking win. pick it. Uh, I, I was going to pick that if, if, he, if he didn't. Well, clearly, I was way off on that. Then. It's so great that you got Suburban Commando, but missed <laughs> two. That I, <laughs> I still love All right, the Winchester and Casper. All right, so Vicky, he picked your third movie. What's uh, 
What do you got? I have to switch it up and go with one that's actually horror. Um, I'll do the Amityville Horror. There you go. Original or 2005 remake? Two, I'm going to go original. original. Ryan, Reynolds. Uh, Ryan Reynolds isn't scary to me. <laughs> His acting sometimes is. <laughs> True. The Amityville Horror. All right. So I get to go third. Here are some honorable mentions. Like I did mention before, Ghost Ship. That could certainly go in there. This was a movie that I remember seeing back in the day that was really good. The Skeleton Key definitely comes with a thumbs up on that one. A uh, movie with a great twist, The Others. Uh -huh. Go check out that one. Um, there is also The Haunting, which is a fantastic yeah, I movie. I still have theaters. I would. I just remember not being too impressed. Uh, the original, again, the original from the 60s is better than that one, I thought. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. Vincent Price. Um, I'm not going to disagree with that. There's also uh, House on Haunted Hill that and also the original for that one is yep and if you remember they actually filmed um the opening scene where jeffrey rush like they're going up that elevator and they make it seem like the elevator's gonna crash that is at um uh, that's the hulk ride at islands yeah. of adventure uh some other ones here if you wanted to go more of like kind of the the kid end of things they did have there's a monster house that's such a Dark Which I believe, that. if I remember correctly, this is, um, hmm. I think it's uh, um, Dan Harmon. I think he did this. Could be wrong. I'm trying to, yeah, down here, screenplay by Dan Harmon. I watched that one with my kid. Not a terrible movie. There's a Paranormal Activity as well. Do you, have, do you have the one that Tom Hendelson did a couple years ago, like 2016, 17, the Crimson, whatever? I can't remember what the hell they're called. Uh, probably not. But one that I do Don't have. Don't worry, that, that movie sucked anyways. Again, we're kind of the, the theme here would be like this is the actual ship was uh was haunted with Event Horizon. I still remember that movie the, fucked me up first time I saw it. Dude, mm -hmm. I went and saw this at a matinee with a friend of mine. And when we left the theater, obviously it's still light out, like super it's like only like 2 p.m. or something like that. And I remember we we took maybe five steps out of the theater and we looked at each other and we were like, what? fuck was that <laughs> like again if you like horror movies definitely go check out Event it's Horizon. great movie but it, it's gonna fuck you up yeah it, yeah and, and especially with the ending too that was where we were like what yeah. was that uh sticking with haunted houses we also just uh, talked about the grudge not going on my triple feature bitch but one that is my final pick is love this movie and again it classifies it's technically a hotel that's haunted but it will go within kind of like the haunted space theme of things if you have not seen 1408 uh go watch it but be prepared to have your uh mind penetrated uh with horror because mm. it is a mind fuck penetrated or pass. penetrated Hard. all right so frank poltergeist the winchester and casper <laughs> <laughs> icky uh the frighteners Beetlejuice and the Amityville Horror, and then I have The Shining, 13 Ghosts, and 1408. 